My name is Evelyn, uh, Evelyn Dreja. Uh, I was in the MA Food and Development course in 2019 to 2020, and I'm, I, I'm from Indonesia. I chose MA Food and Development because it was basically the logical path of education from where I was um, learned from, from my professional experience, because I worked in food systems and nutrition, right? I didn't even know at first that this was an option that, you know, because I knew I wanted to go on development and I, after school, I want to work in development, but I didn't know that I could get, I thought I was going to have to take like a public health or nutrition course, but then I saw that IDS is offering this specific course on food and development, food systems and development, and I thought this is quite perfect. My year has been strange, I think, to say the least. I, but, you know, I don't think any of us come in to grad school expecting that half of the year is going to be spent in a global pandemic, to be sure. But I think at the same time, uh, even during the pandemic, I think I had fun. It was a lot of learning and a lot of new experiences, and I'm very much grateful for that. I think um, this pandemic and, you know, having to finish my degree in the middle of it has also really taught me about how resilient I am. And it's all part of the experience, I think, so I'm very great, grateful for that as well. I did not expect because I didn't know that we were going to be learning from reach research consultants is that the right term uh, from research consultants as well as professors because all the professors in ideas also you know have that the, the other job where's the other hat as a research consultant and my course just happens to be it's half ideas and half global studies so I take half my courses in IDS and half in the University of Sussex Global Studies departments. I won't say it's not that one is better than the other, but it definitely makes for a slightly different teaching or learning style in that I feel like when I, so the University of Sussex, the Global Studies department, they're very academic in their teaching. It's very typical traditional academic learning which I really appreciate as well. But in IDS, you get a feeling that you're learning from consultants, like professionals. It's a lot, it's, it's very, how, how do I say it? It's very skills-based and project-based and also very grounded to current reality and what is happening in the sector. So I really, yeah, I really appreciate that. Specifically, I also really like this module that I took in my spring term, which is the sustainability and policy processes module. And well, first of all, because I'm just really, really interested in policy spaces and work in, in public policy. But the second is that as a part of the midterm exercise for this module, they actually require us to form a group and role play as policy consultants in that we choose a topic and then we discuss it, analyze it and produce a consultancy report exactly as if we are working for, a, uh, we are working for a client that is asking us to, you know, produce a consultancy report, analyzing a policy and recommending solutions. It's very, it's very practical, very exercise based. And I found it very, very exciting because I feel like it's something that I will be doing if I'm doing real life consulting work. So it was really good practice, I feel. My strongest memory about being in IDS is um, earlier, very early in the beginning, before we even started our classes, it was a welcoming event, kind of like an orientation in IDS and where Linda Altman, um said something about how in ideas the teachers are here to learn from us as much as we are here to learn from them and i found i was very impressed with that i think it gave me a lot of confidence and reassurance because i feel as if i will be listened to 
and that was certainly accurate throughout the year. And like my opinions and experience in the sector matter. So this is very refreshing and it was very reassuring. That was one of my strongest memories about IBS.